And meantime, the Saddle Ridge fire continues burning across northern Los Angeles. Tonight, one man is dead, a firefighter injured, and dozens of homes damaged. News 8's Brandon Lewis joins us in studio tonight with how another fire is spreading resources across greater LA. Yeah, we are continuing to monitor two large brush fires that are continuing to burn. The first one broke out yesterday afternoon in Cala Mesa, and it burned more than 70 mobile homes, killing one woman. The other fire, the Saddle Ridge fire, that's in northern Los Angeles. That's up here. We'll go ahead and zoom into this event evacuation area located just near the top of the mountains. More than 100,000 people called these neighborhoods in red home. They were all forced out overnight as the flames quickly spread. Firefighters across the Southland battled wildfires. The Saddle Ridge fire was reported as a one acre fire around nine Thursday night. Less than a day later, it grew to more than 7,500 acres as officials raced to evacuate those in the fire's it's, path. It just came in so fast. Um, it's, it's wild, like five hours ago, we didn't even really know that this fire was a thing, and, and now we've been forced to evacuate. We live like a half mile away, and it's, it's really just hard to wrap your head around. Police confirmed the fire destroyed at least 25 homes, and they're still assessing others. A man in his 50s died from a heart attack, and a firefighter was treated for a minor eye injury. The fire is fueled by dry grass in the valley and Santa Ana wind gusts that reached up to 60 miles per hour. Oh, it was terrible. The embers were blowing. You just you just wanted to duck and run. Donna Porco lives near the origin. Her husband looked out to check on the winds when he saw the fire. There's a fire. He ran upstairs and I was just getting ready to get into bed and he said, no, we have to go. We have to pack. More than 1,000 firefighters are battling the blaze, but resources are stretched thin. Crews in Riverside County are still fighting the Sandalwood fire that broke out Thursday afternoon. It tore through the Via Calamesa mobile home park, killing an 89-year-old woman. Investigators believe this fire started when a trash truck caught fire. Garbage then blew out the back and ignited nearby vegetation, burning more than 800 acres. We've identified identified the cause, obviously, uh, but we're still investigating uh, whether or not there will be any type of, of criminal charges pending. Meanwhile, in the Silmar neighborhood, residents grabbed anything, including their four-legged neighbors. My dog was in the house. I had to break the window to get out. It's actually not even my dog. It's my buddy's dog. Wow. He, he's stuck on the freeway. They won't let him off. And firefighters just wrapped up the latest update on this fire. It is now 13% contained. While some people may get to go home in the next few hours, the winds are still very strong, and the fear is they could blow some of the embers. New at 630, we'll tell you about how one person says they think this fire started. We'll send it back to you guys at the desk. All right, thanks, Brandon. Definitely a scary situation out there. We